This is a training program for St. John's University pharmacy students about hearing loss and your patient. Part one of this program will talk about mechanics of hearing. There are nearly 13 million persons in the United States over the age of 65 with hearing loss. And this is gonna have a substantial impact on the speech and language of your patient. The hearing mechanism can be divided into three parts, and each part serves an important function in the hearing process. They include the outer ear, the middle ear, and the inner ear. The outer ear consists of your pinna and your ear canal. The middle ear is your eardrum, and it terminates at your cochlea. The cochlea is your hearing organ, along with the auditory nerve, make up the inner ear. The outer ear and the pinna collect sound waves. They transfer sound waves to the ear canal and they protect the eardrum, which is also known as your tympanic membrane. Your tympanic membrane is the first mobile link in a chain of auditory events. It transfers sound from the outer ear to the middle ear. The middle ear is an air-filled space with the three tiniest bones of your body. It amplifies sound before the sound is sent to the fluid-filled cochlea. The middle ear is connected to your nasopharynx, your nose and throat, through the eustachian tube. In adults, the eustachian tube is on a vertical angle. In children, it is on a more horizontal angle. The cochlea is your hearing organ. The vestibular system is important for balance and equilibrium. The cochlea means snail-like shell in Latin. It is filled with fluids and hair cells, which are tonotopically organized. This means they are organized by frequency. The cochlea is responsible for converting waves into messages that travel to the base of the brain via the auditory nerve. The auditory nerve is a series of way stations that receive, analyze, and transmit impulses along the auditory pathway to the auditory cortex of the brain. Collected by the outer ear, which consists of the auricle and the external auditory canal, the sound is guided through the ear canal to the middle ear the sound arrives at the eardrum, a flexible circular membrane, which starts to vibrate when sound waves strike it. The sound waves are passed on by the movement of the eardrum to the middle ear. In the middle ear are three tiny bones, referred to as the hammer, the anvil, and the stirrup. Collectively, they are known as the acicular chain. These form a bridge from the eardrum to the entrance of the inner ear. Their interaction increases and amplifies the sound vibrations further before these are relayed fully into the inner ear via the oval window. In the inner ear is the cochlea, which is similar in shape to a snail shell. It contains several membranous sections which are filled with watery fluids. When the sound waves vibrate the oval window, the fluid begins to move, thus setting minute hair cells in motion. These hair cells then transform the vibrations into electrical impulses, which are sent via the auditory nerve and onto the brain. What we call noises are actually just sound waves, which are transmitted through the air. 